And now just for a tip of what we can do with all these plugins let's say we have a guy that's already green screened uh, keyed out and you want to integrate the guy uh, with a mm, CG background that's rendered with all the uh, technical passes you'd want right so uh, all you have to do is let's get a white background show the CG background on it uh, now put the guy in remembering that uh, he has to go behind and uh, these objects so let's use a EFX Z depth compose on him but now we have a problem we don't have a depth channel for this guy well that's actually no problem we just mm, use a gray solid uh, on him as a mm, depth channel if we do this uh, he has a depth of neutral depth and we can animate now uh, the value of uh, the depth offset of this guy pulling him in front of objects or behind objects. So now uh, with the animation of uh, this parameter we can actually animate him from behind uh, objects. As you can see the value now is uh, 0.36. He's coming into front, front, front way in the front now the value is 0.45 he's going even more in front the value is 0.47 going around the pole or whatever and now going in the back again the value back to 0.41 and 0.39 just to make it a little bit more interesting uh, we use the trick with uh, the zdep shadow mm, on the guy so boom we make it throw the shadow onto uh, objects unfortunately the shadow uh, must be pre-composed through a z-depth layer as well so we reuse uh, the z-depth compose with animated keys on it so the shadow follows the guy and hides behind objects in the front let's give him a second shadow and now let's see what it really looks like there we go, so you can see one rendering from 3D background, one flat keyed out layer and the guy goes around the objects in the render throwing shadow onto them, deforming nicely as simple as that